everybody, just got done watching 1999's TV movie, Atomic Train, starring Rob Lowe, Kristen Davis, S.I. Morales and John Finn. Uh, and pretty much everybody that you've probably seen filmed, uh, uh, <laughs> that's been in something filmed in Vancouver. Um, this one I've seen a couple of times before. And you know what, I've seen nothing but bad reviews about this movie. Um, arguably for good reason, but actually it's a movie I kind of enjoy. It's a guilty pleasure. Um, basically, uh, Rob Lowe plays uh, NTSB uh, agent um, John Seeger, and um, he's uh, there's this train that's had this uh, has um, had this Russian nuclear bomb kind of squirreled away onto it unofficially and the, the the train becomes a runaway and it gets derailed and then there's the threat of this bomb going off so uh, John kind of uh, he's kind of brought in to try and stop the train and blah 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 um, in the meantime he's he's got to work out for his family there's uh, his wife's ex-husband who keeps sticking his nose in and actually kind of an asshole um, but um, it's just standard kind of um, uh, kind of uh, uh, towering inferno kind of uh, drama uh, tragedy kind of thing um, and it's so very TV movie-ish um, but I disagree with everybody's uh, complaints about the acting on that. The acting isn't great. Um, the people that are in this have done much better work elsewhere. But I don't think it's as bad as uh, everybody says it is. Um, unfortunately for me, as an X-Files fan, or not unfortunately, um, as an X-Files fan, it's easy to have like a who's who. I mean, my God, you've got Papa Scully and um, Mrs. Mulder op acting opposite each other. Uh, uh, Rebecca Tulin, who I've never, I've never considered a great actress anyway. Um, she doesn't get much to do. Uh, but I feel more sorry for Don S. Davis, um, the late great Don S. Davis, who always seems to be given those kind of military roles um, but he does barely anything in this uh, and I would have loved to have seen more of him uh, there's also um, uh, season 5's Michael Krishkow, uh, uh John Finn uh, who then went on to be uh, in Cold Case etc um, so, so I'm sat there going oh I know them, I know them, as I said this is filmed in Vancouver and if you've watched anything, be it sci-fi or TV movies or whatever, filmed in Vancouver, you will probably recognise most of the people in this. Um, but I just, I think the, it's not so much the acting, I think a lot of the problem with this movie is the script. It does suck at times and this is the cheesiest of cheese. Um, so I think a lot of these actors are struggling to do anything with these awful lines uh, and stunted direction. Um, but like I say, this is this is kind of a guilty pleasure for me. I'm, I've watched it twice before, but it's one that when I do sit and watch it, even though it's two hours long, I still kind of enjoy it. It's not the quality of, say, a high budget disaster movie. Um, it's not, but there's just something about it that I find interesting. Except my main complaints. Oh my god, the to the first ten minutes are completely pointless. They have this train not stopping and, and there's this school bus that randomly stops on the the, the crossroad and and I don't know what the point of that scene was other than to show trains fuck up or what, I don't know. 
Um, but it just seemed completely uh, extraneous, and I was just like, okay. Um, and then, of course, you've got so many of cliches like, you know, we can't have water dropped on these chemicals that are leaking um, after the train's been derailed. Uh, other than the nuclear bomb, there's also all these flammable liquids and chemicals, etc. And I'm like, oh, it reacts badly with water. And of course, you have these assholes that rush to the scene. I mean, they think they've been helpful, um, but they've not gone for proper instructions uh, regarding uh, dropping flame retardant and stuff on the uh, crash site. And they go pick up some water, and it turns out that these chemicals uh, cannot be react. You know, cannot be. Uh, exposed to water and of course they drop the water and huffing a <laughs> which sets off the uh, nuclear bomb. Um, it's nice to know that according to this movie um, if you want to escape uh, serious damage when a nuclear blast is uh, happening hide in some concrete tubes. Apparently that works. Um, I really don't think that works that way. Um, but there are so many plot holes and so many, um, uh, you know, like just inaccuracies and in that. It's, uh, you know, technical inaccuracies. You kind of do find it frustrating. You're just sat there going, oh, for goodness sakes. Um, and the ending is ridiculously rushed. Um, the bomb. <laughs> goes off like half hour before the end um and they've then you know got the the, the survivors trying to get to kansas and i, I don't even know how close kansas uh, the border, kansas border is to to denver I, my geography on that is i don't know so i can't imagine people just walking it then though um but there's just it just feels the whole ending is rushed and then they have this awful like the president going oh we're our own we're going to be the creators of our own destruction with all the technology we make and stuff and i was like you're really trying for the moral high ground movie you're really gonna try for like doing this big moral at the end i was like no no um so i like some of the effects in it um I do like the chase stuff with the train um, when they're trying to slow down the runaway train. Uh, I do like that stuff. Um, and But I just, it kept bopping all over the country to these separate scenes and I was just like, get some fucking focus. And it takes about half hour or so for it to find that focus. And it shouldn't take that long. I don't know how this was presented on TV, whether it was done in parts or whether it was shown in whole. Uh, the DVD version is all spliced together. Um, so unlike, say, Jackie F or Joan and that, they it doesn't have it on the DVD in separate parts. Um, so I don't know how it was presented. But I know if I was sat there, say if this was in an hour segment, um, I mean, it's a TV movie, so I guess it's not a miniseries. But, you know, if you're sat there and half hour goes by and you still are just sat there waiting for it to get, get on with it, I can understand people's frustration. Um, it's not great. It's not. It's really frustrating at times. And there are a lot of, like I say, technical um, inaccuracies and implausibilities. But, like I say, I personally enjoy it. It's not for everybody. It's not. It really isn't. Um, and I think if you like cheese, if you like this kind of cheesy TV movie, it's actually doable. It's actually watchable. It is, act it is watchable. There are a lot worse um, movies, including Baby Snatcher, um, even, I think this is even better than Mr. Murder, um, and it is. It's average, but personally I enjoy it, and I, I look forward to watching it again in the future. Uh, maybe I'm just a sucker, but, um, do. It's, it's worth at least a 6 out of 10, to me. Um, do check out 1999's 
uh, atomic train. If not for just a laugh at seeing all the people you're used to seeing in other stuff. Uh, but for now, that was tonight's movie. We'll be back tomorrow. But for now, this is Sketch, signing out.